every time I grill a steak, I always make my go-to herby chimichurri sauce. Now the key to this sauce is to make sure that you're using an extremely high quality extra virgin olive oil and that's going to help the flavor really come through in addition to all the fresh herbs. Now my go-to olive oil is always Casadrino's olive oil and the flavor is so good, it's organic, it's delicious and the issue with olive oil is a lot of brands like to market themselves as olive oil but really it's a blend of toxic oils like canola oil, soy oil and maybe a little bit of olive oil. So now that we've talked about olive oil, let's dive in and let's make our sauce. So we're gonna start with our herbs and I have one bunch of fresh parsley and you wanna use Italian flat leaf parsley for this and you wanna make sure to cut the stems off otherwise your sauce is gonna be very bitter and it's not gonna taste great. Now you can use your food processor or you can chop these by hand but your food processor is gonna save you time and make it so much easier. So we'll go ahead and toss our fresh parsley in here and make sure that is really even around the blade. And then next we're gonna go into our other herbs. So I have two tablespoons of fresh rosemary that's been destemmed, And I have two tablespoons of fresh oregano as well. And two tablespoons of fresh thyme. And we'll just go ahead and make sure that all those herbs are in here. And we're gonna go ahead and pulse these a few times with our food processor to get those chopped up. And you wanna make sure not to overprocess the herbs because you still want them to be chunky and have some formation of their leaves, but just be finely chopped. And now we're gonna go ahead and move into making the sauce that's gonna tie this all together. So I have about half a cup of extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder and we're gonna add one teaspoon of sea salt. And we'll go ahead and use a whisk just to combine this. You don't have to overly mix it, but just enough to get the seasoning mixed in with the oil. And that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and transfer in our herbs. And I usually start with a half a cup of olive oil and you want this to be kind of a liquidy sauce. The herbs do tend to absorb a lot of the olive oil. So depending on the size of your parsley bunch, you may need to add a little bit of olive oil. So mine was a pretty big bunch and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my olive oil that I have handy here and pour a little bit extra on top. And again, it really is up to you what consistency you want, but I like mine to be a little bit more oily because the olive oil just tastes so good and has so many healthy fats in it. So that is it. Our sauce is ready. It's been combined. You can make it a little runnier if you want to. If not, leave it like this. And this is gonna be your favorite sauce every time you grill some meat. I put it on everything. So I hope you enjoy it. My recipe can be found on my blog, thetrailtohealth.com. And you can also find other healthy and delicious recipes in my cookbook, Wandering Palette, which is available on my website and Amazon as well. Mm -hmm.